estrellas nos pintaste de color, nos creaste y diste vida, nos llenaste de tu amor. Aleluya, aleluya, hermanos. Amén. Estamos contentos ahora este mediodía que estamos en el Señor. Amén. We are coming in wanting to glorify the name of the Lord with me here today. Amén. And so I just want to come in and give a shout out. Amén. And give some praise and honor 
and glory to God whom deserves everything. Amen. Everything and what he's doing in our lives. And so I just want to rejoice in this one more song before we come on in. And I'm just saying, you know what? Get ready with your Bibles. Get ready um, as we go into this word of God. Amen. Let us just exalt the name of Jesus here today. Amen. Come on, give God some glory. Existe el rey para siempre, Señor. Con esa corona de espinos, Señor. Existe el rey. Oh, existe el rey por siempre. Una corona de espinos. Existe el rey por siempre, Señor. Porque tú pagaste el precio a tu padre. Merece la gloria, Señor. Sí, Señor. Uh, hey. Dale un aplauso, Señor. things amen and just really working the things of the spirit and we are just lifting up the name of Jesus amen you know God has taken us into uh, different outreaches of different churches and really connecting with other pastors and other leaderships amen and you know we're just being open we are receiving amen what the word of God has been giving amen and I believe just as much as a person gives, that we ourselves should be willing to receive. Amen. Because it shouldn't be at an imbalanced level 
where we can say ourselves, okay, we know everything and everybody should just be listening to us. No, you know what? There's a balance where we have to always be allowing the Spirit of the Living God to pour into our lives. Amen. Because it's God what makes us perfect on every realm. Amen. And that's the reason why one, one church, you know, one of the things that the Lord's really been dealing with my heart is about having a judgmental spirit. And so God is saying that we should not be judgmental, amen, and sometimes even down to what people eat, you know. Now, whatever, whatever they say what's good for one is good for the other, you know. And the thing is, is you know what's good for you, amen. And so you should allow the pressures of others, amen. We should be grateful of everything. If God have given you the freedom, come on now to live at that level, amen, then glory be to God, amen, if you want to believe for your mansion here on earth, you know what, glory be to God, you know what, if God has given you the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge uh, to build all type of businesses, well, glory be to God, amen, if that's what you are called to do, then praise be and honor and glory to God. Because, you know, God has called kings as well as he has called priests. Amen. And those that are kings, those that are reigning here on the earth are to support. Amen. Those that are in the priesthood. Come on now. I'm speaking about those who are in the fivefold ministry. I'm talking about those who God has called those to be your pastors, your leaders, your evangelists, your apostles, come on now, and your prophets, amen. I know that sometimes God gives me a prophetic word to speak over your lives, amen. And I believe a lot of this time this word is a prophetic rhema word of God. Now one of the challenges, I'm just going to open up my heart today because, you know, all of these our processes in which we walk through something in which God is even working in my life even here today amen you could say the family the family now God has been restoring families are you listening to me and because God is restoring families I see that a lot of things around are being shaken you know there's been a lot of shake and jolting and 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 really the evil one is it's just like huffing and and puffing and and want to blow that house down but i'm telling you when you are standing on god's word when you are standing upon the solid rock your house will not fall because we are established upon the rock which is jesus christ so one of the keys amen and i shared this with you we've been on kingdom keys for the kingdom amen i want you to go into cruzando fronteras con una voz de alerta we have a ministry page there on facebook amen now you can locate some of these some of them not all of them um on youtube amen and i know that it is full so we're, we're okay with that but you know what i want to share with you that you're going to be able to receive the the whole teaching, the whole ministering, amen, um, there on the Cruzando Fronteras con una voz de alerta ministry page, amen, because that's where God is taking us here today, amen, and this is what I am sharing with the church today, hallelujah. And so one of the things that the Lord is choosing for us not to have church is to having a judgmental spirit. Amen. And I really feel that out of the, the love of God and the peace of God to share all with my speaker family. Amen. And also to um, with all of my loved ones that are following us. Amen. In different areas of our websites hallelujah and so i'm sharing that with you church because 
you know, God has so many wonderful things that uh, that He is working in our lives. Amen. And so as He has led us, amen, for this time to be a blessing towards one another and given towards this Word of God. So one of the keys, one more time, is not to be judgmental. Remember when we were talking about having a merciful, merciful spirit, being mercy, amen, give mercy as God has given mercy to each and every one of us, maybe we didn't deserve it, and maybe we shouldn't have received it, amen, but that's how merciful that God is, amen, and so there, I'm going to take you there out of the book of Matthew there in chapter 7, it says, do not judge or you will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged with the same measure that you use. It will be measured to you. So one of the kingdom keys, church, is not to judge, amen, one another. It's so very important, amen, that we do not judge one another because then we cause that same measure to happen then within our lives. Now I'm going to take you to a next step because the steps that I was sharing with you here today, amen, about when I was asking the Lord, Him taking us into these different conferences, we've been uh, driving out to Dallas, amen, uh, a great man of God that speaks um, Spanish as well as English and the Lord has used them as well in Africa and all around the world, His name is Alfredo. Molsi, amen, Alfredo Molsi, and I don't have my book with me here today, but I purchased a book from him, amen, and he had a powerful word of God, amen, and then uh, we've been visiting another church there uh, on Lancaster, amen, as the Lord has led us, we've been fellowshipping there at that church, we've been visiting that church, uh, we also been visiting uh, Pastor Menchaca, amen, we give a shout out to Pastor Menchaca and all the household of the family of the house of prayer, amen. Uh, we kicked off there doing the women's meeting, amen. And I just really believe that God is saying, you know, I want you to begin to unpack all these things that I have for you, amen. All your gifts, all these um, things that God wants to work and will within our lives, amen, that is going to make us stronger, amen, and to be such a blessing. Now check this out, church, because one of the things that when I rose up in my time of prayer, God is saying, what do you want today? Amen. What do you want today? And I told my husband, you know, sometimes we find ourselves that we're not asking much of the Lord. Amen. Our main priority here on earth, amen, and here through this ministry is to do God's will. You know, God says to seek the Lord first, and then all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. And see, that's where I find myself, that I find myself, you know what, seeking for godly kingdom relationships, as well as bringing people to the feet of Jesus. Church, that is my heart's cry. Amen. And sometimes, you know, God has to mm, shake the family, shake the loved ones. And you know what? Say, you know what? God is here. God is here and he is so present for you because he can use me for the nations. You know, I'm talking to pastors. I'm talking to leaderships of those who are being delivered out of the spirit of depression. Amen. Of different types of illnesses and, and sicknesses and diseases. And you know what? The thing is that they are souls too. We are souls too. Amen. And sometimes the weight of this world that you know what? That we are carrying this cross sometimes outside of the power of God versus within the power of of God, because the only way that we're going to do this church is only through the power and the anointing through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me share with you through the word of scripture, amen, where it says, ask, seek, and knock. And I love it out of the no another words of scripture when it talks about seeking 
is searching. Amen. And I wanted to remind you that seeking and searching is like when you're on your phone, okay, and you're waiting because you're waiting for a signal, and it's just going round and around, and the Google's just like round, and you're waiting, and you're waiting because you want access, you want access, and that's what I'm sharing with you here today, to have access to the kingdom of God, we need to be kingdom-minded, kingdom mentality to ask and to seek and to knock as we do these things amen as we do these things ask and it will be given to you amen it says seek and you shall find knock and you know what as you knock the door will be open for you for everyone who asks shall receive he who seeks will find and to him who knocks the door will be open now i'm just going to share with you because i believe that many of y'all are being challenged right now in your giving amen you're being challenged in your giving believe me when i go to all these different churches you know what i never want to leave without giving my seed toward the kingdom or towards the house. It's just something within me, even though when I don't have it. Are you listening to me, church? Even when I don't have it, I'm trusting in the Lord. And I'm saying, Father God, this is my seed. And I am granting it to you, O Lord, because I believe that what I see, what I have sown into your kingdom, that I will receive a harvest. I will receive a plentiful harvest because I am sowing into good ground. Hallelujah. And that's what I'm not only speaking out today, but what are you believing for? Amen. You know what I'm believing for? My uh, bills to be paid. My house bills to be paid. Insurance to be paid. Come on now. I'm just being real. You know what? There's a lot of personal things that needs to be taken care of for the kingdom. For the kingdom. Because I'm talking about the roof over my head. That is where we do our ministry out from. Are you listening to me, church? And only God, only God. Do we seek forth in God's goodness, in God's mercy, and in God's grace? Amen. That, you know what? That as we give, as we give, God said that it will be pressed down, shaken together, and run it over that men shall pour into your bosom. Because you know what, church? It's not only about me. It's not only about my bills. It's not only about my house. But it's about the souls, and it's about the kingdom, and it's about getting the word of God out through radio, through television, through all of the social media platforms. Amen. And the website, hallelujah, all the different channelings that we are touching lives literally around the world. And you know what? Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to the living God whom is our Savior. I'm going to wrap up with these verses because God's word say there in verse 9 out of the chapter 7 there in the book of Matthew. It says when we... Nine, which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good things. See, we are giving good things. Good things. Amen. Good things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for those good things. You give good gifts to your children. How much more 
Well, your Father in Heaven will give you these good gifts. God's going to give you these good gifts, church. So very good. Good, good, good. And God is saying, So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. And for this will sum up the law and the prophets. You know, church, the law that God has given is to love one another and to love because God loves and to give love because He has given His love towards us. Amen? So when you seek, know that you will find. When you ask today, church, know that it shall be given to you. And when you knock, and when you knock, know that that door will be open. Release today whatever it is that you are wanting God to do. Give it unto God through these heavenly promises, amen, to see God work in your lives here today. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the awesome God that you are. We thank you, Lord, that not only have you saved us, Lord, but, Father God, you have delivered us from all sin, from all shame, and from all guilt. Lord, you have released me into the kingdom of God that we can use these weapons of warfare to allow heaven to come to earth. For thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today, Lord, we release every heaviness. Father God, we release every doubt. We relieve every sickness, shame, or guilt. And may your will be done in our lives today. Church, we love you. God bless you. And may God's face shine upon you in greatness. Amen and amen.